I'm going to give you tip number 26, week 26 from the Law of Attraction Gratitude Journal. Attract more of what you want to create a happy, abundant life. And life is meant to be happy and joyful. And it's really important to be expressing for gratitude for all the things in your life. So that leads us to week 26. And I particularly love this topic of gratitude. So have an attitude of gratitude. So that's what I'm saying to you. And I know that a lot of you that are um, writing in the book or have been getting my e-zines or connected with me over the years know that gratitude is really huge for me. Um, because when we express gratitude, we actually vibrate at a very... Um, high frequency and uh, recently I was doing a talk on um, gratitude and I was doing some research on Dr. Emoto's uh, hidden messages of water and what he did is he uh, tested water around the world and looked at the crystals and how the crystals formed and crystals let's say in New York City or areas where there was a lot of crime and fighting, the crystals didn't actually form at all. And they were not, they were imperfect. They were not pretty. They were not a nice color. But when he went to places where that were more peaceful uh, around the world, the, the water crystals had a nice um, effect to them. He actually cites Vancouver, which is where I live, that the water crystals were very nicely formed. He also discovered that um, the crystals that form gratitude, when they focus on the word gratitude, actually have the some of the crystals of the word love in it. So gratitude, in his opinion, has a higher frequency than love. And if you've been watching some of my other videos, you know that I'm a big fan of, of Dr. David Hawkins. And I like to look at this map of consciousness because he looks at the different frequencies. So, you know, when you're vibrating down here, you know, anger, fear, shame, all of that, until you get to courage. Courage is at a vibration of 200, and that's where things move into the positive arena. But what I love is that the uh, feeling of gratitude actually ranks higher than love and a little bit uh, in the same area of joy. He didn't actually measure that one per se, but I'm very uh, confident when I was listening to Dr. Emoto and reading his books that he's described that with his crystals. So why do we want to express gratitude? Well, for one reason, you know that the law of attraction's job is simply to match vibrations. So when it matches the vibration, if you're giving off a high positive gratitude vibration, then you are going to attract more things that you can be grateful for. So attracting is what the law of attraction does. So when you say that you're grateful for things, it automatically attracts more things for you to be grateful for. I like to use this mantra throughout my day. I'm thankful and grateful for my perfect and then fill in the blank. And for several months I've been using I am thankful and grateful for my perfect financial situation. And every single day I have received uh, money. So abundance to me, remember, I've done this this one before in one of the other weeks, that abundance is a feeling. So I'm, I'm feeling abundant from the money I tracked, knowing that I've either done a great job with my clients or uh, in some cases I'm getting royalties from the book. I have another book that I've written as well. I get royalties from that. So wherever the, the money comes to me, that is a form of abundance, but it's not the only thing that, that uh, we're grateful for in our life, right? It's part of it. So in saying and using that mantra, I'm thankful and grateful for my perfect financial situation, repeating that over and over automatically, remember the definition of the law of attraction, I attract to my life whatever I put my attention, energy, or focus on, whether wanted or unwanted. So I'm saying that every day. I'm thankful and grateful for my perfect financial situation. You could say I'm thankful and grateful for my perfect relationship. I'm thankful and grateful for my perfect health. Whatever it is that you're, you're in the process of manifesting. Once you start saying and it, it starts to sink into your body and it becomes very automatic. Um, because I'm also a vision board person, I have my vision board. Uh, actually, I'm looking right at it and I have that right there along with many other sayings and many other things that make me feel great and that I want to attract this year places I want to go and things that I want to do. So I'm grateful just looking at, at that and it makes me feel good. So do whatever makes you feel grateful. Uh, it might be creating a vision board. That might be something for you. Um, however, I'm going to put out there the first 
10 people that make a comment uh, about this video, I've just gotten a new button and it says I have an attitude of gratitude. So the first 10 people that put a comment under this week 26, I will connect with you and I will get your mailing address and I will mail you one of these buttons that say I have an attitude of gratitude. I just got these in. So I'm um, going to be using these at a talk that I'm doing. So that's it for me for now. For now, um, week 26, you can find me at empoweredwomeninbusiness.com if you want to get my newsletter or if you want to download my um, Law of Attraction, The Power of Your Words. It's um, It's got exercises and tips in there about how you can get more uh, conscious and being mindful of the words that you're using. Of course, gratitude is a great, 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 great word um, to use and to keep focused on. So I'm Dana Smithers. That's it for me for now. And uh, I love to get your comments. If you want to check me out on Facebook, I'm facebook.com forward slash empowered women in biz. Until we meet again, have yourself a grateful week.